moving on to the next topic in the presentation that is terrain creation tools so i'll demonstrate first how to create a terrain model from the ascii file i'll quickly switch to the open roots designer again here again i have created a blank dgn file so in order to create a terrain from ascii file we'll go again back to the terrain additional methods and here we will select create terrain model from ascii file and we'll navigate to the ascii file here i will select this point file 1 text and click on import. In the create terrain model from ASCII file dialog box, here one thing is to note that in order to import any ASCII file, it is very important that we have settings file configured. Most of the users miss this part and this can cause an issue while importing the ASCII file. So it is very important that you have set your settings file according to your data sets. In order to create a scenic file, I'll click on this create new text import setting file. This will open the create text import setting file dialog box. Here for the file format, everything looks fine for me. I'll go ahead and click on next. Here in this type, my data source contains only the spot elevation. So that for the feature type, instead of break lines, I will select the spots. And for the column delimiters, I will select columns. And here I will configure my nodding, nesting, and elevation. And I will click on next. Under the filters, we, here we have opportunity to add additional filters. For example, if you want to skip any particular line, for example, in this case, if I want to exclude number five to 10 spot elevations, I can do that. But for now, I'll just click on next and finish. Here it will ask us to save a setting file and I will just select save. And now we can set a feature definition for the ASCII terrain file import. So here for feature definition, I will keep the feature definition as proposed triangles and click on import. It will process the data and import the terrain using the ASCII file format. Moving on to the next topic in the presentation that is creating a complex terrain model. So in this DGN, I have an existing terrain model and multiple corridor terrain models proposed. So here, my requirement is to create a complex terrain model that can incorporate all of these corridors proposed terrain model into the single DGN file. So in order to create a complex terrain model, we'll again go to the terrain additional methods and click on create complex terrain model. It will list all the terrain models available for us in this DGN file. In the left hand side, I will select the existing terrain and click on add. So this will be my primary terrain models. And now I can select all the terrain models and click on add. It is important to note that the process order that you have selected will be used to process the complex terrain model. Also, many users get confused between the merge and the append option available in the complex terrain model dialog box here. So in order to explain these features better, I will switch back to the presentation. Here in the diagram, the blue represents the primary terrain models, whereas the green represents the merge or the appended terrain models. Take a close look at the overlapping section between the, these two. If you use a merge option, it will disregard any data that is present in the overlapping section of the primary terrain model. For example, in this merge action set, these two data sources are missing. Whereas if we select the append action while creating a complex terrain model, it will keep the data that is present in the primary terrain model and it will just add the another terrain model into it in the overlapping section. Now I'll go ahead and finish the creating complex terrain model. Here I can set my feature definition for the complex terrain model. So I'll go ahead and select a proposed triangles. Name the terrain model and click on finish. As you can see in the background, now it has created a complex terrain model for us. Now I'll switch to the clip terrain model. So in this another DGN file, I have a reference in an existing terrain model as well as my corridor file. And using a simple smart line tool, I have created the shape around the corridor that I will use to create a clip terrain model. So in order to create a clip terrain model, we'll again go to the terrain additional methods 
and clip terrain model option. Here we will select the existing triangle and we will select the clipping element in this case this rectangular box. And for the clipping method, instead of internal, I will select external method. And as you can see, the clip terrain has been created for this particular corridor. Using this clip terrain is becomes very important while dealing with the large data sets. For example, when we are modeling a large corridor models, it can take a while if we make any changes in the corridor or in the corridor modeling process. So instead of having a full fledged terrain model if we use this clip terrain while performing any corridor modeling tools it can be enhanced your performance of corridor modeling process significantly just to demonstrate this our large scale existing terrain models contains over 16000 triangles in it so any change that we make in the corridor will have to process all of these triangles whereas if we use this clip terrain model while creating a corridor it will just you have to process around 1600 terrangles. So as you can see, it can significantly improve your performance while corridor modeling. And at the time of submission, you can simply switch back to the existing terrain model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.